Guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Colby, the Bitcoin Miner Plug. And last week, we unboxed this bad boy right here, the Canon Avalon Mini 3. And this week, I'm gonna follow up with you and report on how the performance has been. Again, this is a at-home Bitcoin miner. You can mine Bitcoin at home with a machine like this. This one's real cool because it is also a space heater like this one right here. They both use 800 watts, but this one could make you over $300,000 worth of Bitcoin if you were to get super duper lucky and hit a block solo mining. So let's get back into it. Let's talk about how the performance has been over the last week. And of course, if you're into learning about Bitcoin, then be sure to sub the channel, comment, let me know what questions you might have because I'm here to engage with you guys and share what I'm learning as a full-time Bitcoin miner. During my last unboxing video, I shared with you that I was having some issues getting this thing online and hashing and really producing some serious heat. Since then, I've got a few takeaways that should help people make their Avalon Mini 3 work better, such as on the app, there is a heater mode, a mining mode, and then a night mode. You can program this thing to come on and off at certain times and you can do some other cool stuff, such as put a custom logo on the LED screen. But key takeaway from last time is that if you want to be producing some serious heat, I would recommend that you put it in mining mode because in mining mode, the thing is just going to mine. It's not going to really regulate or uh, clock down in order to produce less heat. The thing is just going to mine in mining mode and produce some pretty serious heat. You have to give it a minute and it'll ramp up. I did not have success in heating mode. So when I set a certain temperature, I have found that the thermostat was just not on point. And frankly, the temperature was just wrong and it would not get the temperature right in heating mode. And therefore it kind of defeated the purpose and didn't produce heat when I needed it to. Also, I couldn't get the thing to start up when I plugged it in, oftentimes it would just do nothing. Uh, it will say hi on the LED screen when it turns on, but I found that when I plugged it in, sometimes it just wouldn't turn on for minutes, sometimes even hours, and then it would just randomly turn on. So that was a problem that I experienced in the unboxing video, is I'd plug it in and it just didn't do much of anything. And then I had to figure out that you got to put it in mining mode if you want it to just simply produce heat. I did not have success with the heating mode, which is reg regulated by the thermostat and you set a certain temperature. So for example, if I set 21 degrees, it never really turned on. And for some reason it always thought that the room was hotter than it really was. So I'm going to have to go ahead and put this thing back in the box and send it back to Canon. Uh, I might get a new one because I'm actually super bummed. I think it's a fantastic product. It's solid. It has some really cool features such as the removable filter. Um, I mean, the, pr the product is one of the coolest products I've seen, but unfortunately I got a unit that didn't turn on every time I plugged it in and the thermostat is clearly misfunctioning on this unit. Besides that, stoked when I finally put it in mining mode and it was hashing at 40 terahash, getting that sweet efficiency of about 22 joules a terahash. And this thing consistently produced 40 terahash in mining mode, impressive amount of hash power and an impressive amount of heat once you actually get this puppy cooking. So if you're into Bitcoin mining content, again, smash sub on the channel, smash like if you're into Bitcoin and Bitcoin mining.
dislike if you're not into it. And I appreciate your time. I will see you on the next one. Peace, love, and Satoshis.